Morningstar ran a report, and we'll throw the slide up here in a second, and it's regarding stocks and the overall stock market during a presidential election year. Now, essentially, what this graph shows us, if you look at it, and again, I'm not saying that this year, 2024, by no means, uh, is going to be the same. Remember, uh, it's not supposed to be what's going to happen this year, but it actually went back almost 100 years, which I thought was really very cool, actually, from a context standpoint. It went from January 1st, 1926 until December 31st, 2023, just a month or so ago. And I found this very fascinating. They broke it down by quarter. So in the first quarter, on average, U.S. stocks in a presidential year were up on average 1.3%. And the second quarter was up on average of 1.5%. Now, interestingly enough, and you can see that the first half of a presidential election year tends to be somewhat sluggish, but it's also followed by a big second half. Now, if you look at this data set, nearly 100 years, reminding you, right, you can go back and you can do the historical data on it, but you're going to see a whole bunch of different elections during that 100 years. You're going to see different time periods, different people, different parties, all of it's combined. So I find it interesting when we talk about this and look at it from, again, a context, the perception and the illusion, which we kind of talked about as well, how we perceive things matter.